Hi, my name is Amy and welcome to today's class. Today is going to be a short class. We're into Thanksgiving week and today's class is just going to be about resting and digesting. So obviously we're at some point this week, if we haven't already, maybe we're taking this at the end of the week or the beginning, we're going to either have eaten a lot of food or we're going to eat a lot of food. So one way or the other, rest and digest is going to be really key and important. So we'll get right into it. I don't want to take up too much of your time because I know that Thanksgiving week is always a little crazy and busy and all those things and fun for everyone. So let's start with a quote by Viktor Frankl. And that quote is, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. One, once more, I think this could be very helpful and very important especially as we come together with family and friends and we have difference of opinions. So I think this is really, really important. So I'll say it again. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. And in our response lies our growth and our freedom. So just keep that in mind around the dinner table or whatever you might be doing. All right, we're just going to come to a nice... Oh, I should say you will not need any props for this class. This is going to be, you could do this pretty much anywhere at any time. The yoga mat is obviously helpful, so that would be the only prop. All right, come to a nice simple cross-legged seated position. And from here, we're just going to start with some simple breath work. So we're going to close our eyes if you'd like and inhale through your nose to the count of four. And I'll count for you. One, two, three, four, hold. Exhale, one two, three, four. On the next one, we're going to inhale to four and exhale to five. So inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Once more, we're going to inhale to four and exhale to six this time if possible. Inhale, one, two, three, four, Hold, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Nice, let that go. Take a nice cleansing breath in and a nice exhale out through your mouth. Just let it go, a nice sigh, sigh it out. Let it all go. All right, from here, we're just going to do a simple twist. Left hand to your right knee, right arm behind you, and just twist over to your right. Keep it a nice, long, tall, straight spine and looking over as you twist. Remember, the twist is coming from your, your torso, not your hips. So your hips will stay straight facing forward. Twists, as I has, have mentioned before, are great detoxifiers. They are great to help us digest our food. And obviously, we can all use a little bit of that this time of year. Inhale here, nice deep breath. And exhale, let that go. Once more, inhale. And exhale, let that go. Come back to, to the side, to the front. And now we're going to take our right arm. Don't worry, we'll do the other side. Right arm out to the side. Any amount. Take that left arm and stretch it up overhead to a nice side stretch. Opening all of this up. Opening the ribs. Feeling that space in between your ribs. Breathing here nice and deep. Really feel that expansion. Especially as we uh, eat a lot and we'll have a little less space because we'll be full of hopefully delicious food from Thanksgiving. Breathe here in and, in and out through the nose. And on an exhale, come back up. And now we're going to take that, that cross-legged twist or seated twist. So take your right hand to your left knee. Bring your left arm behind you. Straight, tall back and turn and look over your left shoulder. Remember, turning from your torso, not your hips. Breathing here nice and deep and really feel into that twist. Giving your organs a really nice ringing out here when you do this, just like you would a dish, dish towel. So right now we're bringing that dish chat towel and we're scrunching it up to wring out all the, the, the moisture. We're doing that right now with our organs. Breathe in once more. Exhale. And return back to center. And when you come back, you now you're letting all that fresh blood come into your, to your organs. And now from here, left hand out to the side. And now your right arm will go up and overhead into a nice twist. And so now we're opening up that nice right side body. 
Feel the space in your ribs. I do apologize in advance if you can hear any of those construction. There is some construction going on, and I have little control over that, unfortunately. So I hope that it's not too distracting. And breathe in nice and deep here. Once more in, and exhale, come all the way back up. This is all part of life. There's all kinds of noises that we would rather not have in our videos. All right, from here, we're going to come and roll back onto our backs. Going to bring that soles and feet to the ground. And from here, you're going to bring your right leg into your chest. Give it a nice tug in, a nice squeeze. You can have the left leg can be out straight on the, on the mat in front of you, or you can have it keep it bent. You, your choice. From here, just roll that right ankle in circles to kind of give that ankle joint some lubrication, get the synovial fluid moving in your ankles because maybe you've been sitting on the couch watching whatever you might be doing during the holidays, summer football, some people are movies, reading a book, sitting on the, the kitchen table too long and eating, who knows, just really, and then go in the other direction. So go ahead and circle that ankle a nice around, get that fluid moving. And then from there, just bring that right leg over across your body and bring your right arm out to the side. Get a nice side stretch here. Breathing in and out through your nose. And then once you breathe all the way down. Come back up. From here, now you can bring your left leg into your chest and hug it in. Your le the right leg can go straight out on the mat. Hug that leg in really nice and tight, and now circle the, the left ankle in circles. Really get that synovial fluid moving through that joint. Breathing here and feeling all that. You might feel some snap, crackle, pop in your ankle. As long as you're not actually cracking your ankle, we're good. Don't want anyone to have a broken ankle for Thanksgiving. Go in the other direction, and now bring your left knee over across. And now bring your left arm out behind you to a nice supine twist. Just open up, fill that opening in your lower back. This is also great if you have been sitting a lot to help kind of loosen up and let that lower back go. Because that can get tight from sitting. Breathe here. Exhale, come back to center. Now place both the soles of your feet on the ground. And now we're going to come into figure four. So bring your, your right foot onto your left um, knee. And you can stay here if you'd like, or if you want to, bring your arms through and just pull that in a little bit. That'll also help you to open up those hips a little bit, those tight hips that we get from sitting a lot or traveling or whatever we might be doing this time of year. Breathe here. Exhale. Inhale and exhale through your nose, nice and calm, and just feel, just feel in your body for a moment. Now, keep your feet, your legs in this shape, but just bring your left sole of foot back down to the ground. What you're going to do is stay in this exact shape, but you're going to just tilt yourself over. So you're going to just bring your right foot will come to the ground. Your right knee will be pointed up toward the, the sky, like just that exact shape as they were. And you should feel a nice stretch all along through, through your, uh, your hip flexors, up maybe even to your side, possibly all of that. All right, and then come back up. Take a nice deep breath here and release that leg down. From here now, we're going to go the other side. So bring your left foot to your right knee. And you can either stay here or you can reach your hands through and grab a hold of that right shin and pull in. Get a nice hip flex, hip, your nice hips. Well, you'll feel a hip opening here in the back. Stretch that in a few. Breathe in and out. Feel that. Again, just let go a little bit. Kind of rest in this pose. And now exhale. Bring your right sole of foot to the ground. Keep your feet in the exact same shape. Now all we're going to do is tilt yourself over so the left foot will now come to the ground. And now your left knee will be pointed up toward the sky. And just stay here for a moment, looking up directly above you. You should feel that all along that kind of that left side, side body, down into your left hip.
Breathing here. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. All right. Show you what we're doing next. All right. Sorry. My brain is already into Thanksgiving mode, I guess. All right. So release that, that left foot down. And from here, we're going to come into half happy baby. I'm going over time, too. Yeah, we're good on time. So take that right foot up and bend at the knee. So your knee is going to come down toward the ground and your sole of your foot will point up toward the sky. And go ahead and leave that left leg bent. You can also straighten it, but that will intensify it. So I suggest most of it is pretty tight. This is a good place to stay. Breathe here, in and out through the nose. Again, we're just releasing all that tightness in the hips. Many of us travel this time of year, in the next month, and right in November. All right, release that leg down, and now we'll do the other side. So now we'll take the left leg, bend it in. Your knee will be pointed toward the ground, and the sole of your left foot will be up toward the sky. Breathe here nice and deep. See, we're doing a lot of these, doing twists, we're doing hip openers. And we're also watching our breath and really paying attention to our breath to help us rest and digest and open up these tight areas that we have. And release that. And now we're going to do full happy baby. And this is also a great one for digestion. So take both of the soles of your feet and point those up into the sky. And your knees are pointed toward the ground. Any amount. And you can, if this is hard to grab a hold of your soles of your feet, Grab a hold either at your ankles or your shins. You could even just hold behind your knees. So wherever you need to be, you might be here. You're going to get a nice opening either way. So wherever it feels best on your body to hold, then do that. So there's not a, there's no winner for grabbing your toes. But if you've been around babies, you see them do this. And it's amazing how they have no problem doing it. They can bring their knees all the way to the ground. So we lose that ability over time. Breathe here nice and deep. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Let that go. Bring your knees in your chest. Give them a nice hug. Just like you would hug a nice a family member that you haven't seen for a while. Give yourself a nice hug. Roll over to your side. Come on up. And then from here, if you would like, you can be done and go about your business. But if you have a couple more minutes, I highly recommend lying back in a Shavasana. So if you're done and you need to go on with your day, Thank you for joining me. If not, if you've got, let's say, two more minutes, lay back in Shavasana, get stretched out long on the mat, cover your eyes if you need to, and just notice your breath and just inhale and exhale. Let's just see where you're at. Watch, see what that natural rhythm is. And from here, we're going to do what we did at the beginning. We're going to inhale to the count of four and exhale to the count of five. So we're going to lengthen the inhale, the exhales. That helps to bring our parasympathetic parasympathetic, excuse me, parasympathetic nervous system online helps us to calm down and relax. It's great that if you have insomnia, if you have a hard time sleeping, maybe when you travel, it's hard for you to go to sleep somewhere. Go ahead and stay in Shavasana, notice your breath, but just this is a great technique to help you if you're having trouble sleeping or maybe you wake up in the middle of the night, whatever it might be, try to inhale and exhale. I want that exhale to be longer. So here we go. Inhale, one, two, three, Four, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Once more, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, and exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Resume normal in and out breath through your nose, let out through your mouth if you'd like to, and let's just have a quiet 20, 30 seconds more here in Shavasana. From there, fold your knees into your chest. 
them a nice hug, nice squeeze. Roll over to your right side. Pause there for a moment. Come up to sitting. Come up to a nice, comfortable seated position. And thank you very much for joining me during a nice, busy, uh, during a week that's normally busy for a lot of people. So I, I commend you for taking a little bit of time out of your busy schedule to join. Thank you. I hope this practice helped you a lot. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family and friends. And even if it's over Zoom, just enjoy that you get to at least see their faces. So namaste. Have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your week.